Dave Hawk with Midwest Power Paragliding and Brad from Midwest Power Paragliding. Today we're going to work on the small blocks. We have an Eclipse Atom 80, Parajet Maverick Atom 80, Mini Plane Top 80, Mini Plane Rigid Top 80. We're going to see what kind of thrust these things put out and hopefully we'll come up with which one is the most powerful. So all of these are very high quality paramotors. We're not saying one's better than the other. Some are a little bit lighter. Some are made a little bit better with a little bit more workmanship and attention to detail. Some are classic favorites. Some are newer designs. We're gonna start with the Adam 80 Parajet Maverick. Now my thrust sled tends to be about 10 pounds less than everyone else's. So we are just comparing these thrust numbers to each other, not my thrust sled to your thrust sled. Eclipse. Top 80 with a 125 wood prop. change out props okay I believe it's a helix prop it says it right there on it 130 
flexes too much in that big of a hoop. So the mini plane rigid with a 140 prop. Impressive. A difference. My opinion on this paramotor is it is fairly delicate, not really good for newbies. If you fall down a lot, uh, you will probably crack it up. But awesome for an experienced guy that wants that extra thrust to get you over that tree line or those power lines. Doesn't weigh much more either. I think it weighs about the same. Should we weigh them? Maverick Adam 80, a teaspoon of gas, no reserve, ready to rock. Forty-five pounds. This is supposed to be thirty-eight pounds. Let's see what we got. Something we forgot? Is there anything in his pockets? It is full of hopes and dreams, though. Standard mini plane, top 80 helix, 130 prop, no gas, teaspoon. Plain rigid. Forty-five. In conclusion, buy an eighty. Buy an eighty. They're all good. <laughs> They're all light. They yeah. all run smooth. Yeah. Longer props give out more thrust, and then that's about it. Yeah. Longer props, more thrust. 